stronger than before. Go Z! <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, that song isn't exactly in my vocal range anymore. Anyways, yes, I am a massive fan of the Power Rangers, as any self-respecting 90s kid should be. However, this does come with a little bit of an asterisk next to it because everyone seems to fawn over the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers because it was the one that lasted the longest. I mean, hell, it had a 30-year anniversary special on Netflix not too long ago, which you should definitely watch if you haven't already, because it is fantastic. But yeah, um, <laughs> I never really watched the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers all that much. I think I maybe caught, <gasps> like, the tail end of season three before it swapped over to Zio the next season. I was only, like, one year old when the show hit the airwaves here in America, so... Kind of hard to develop a taste for a show when you haven't even developed your own object permanence. But it's safe to say I've rectified that. I've watched pretty much every season of Power Rangers up until this point. Yes, even the bad ones. And I'm still a massive fan of the show. And just take a guess as to what my favorite season of Power Rangers is. Hint, I'm wearing their suit right now. Well, sort of. It's t-shirt, it's not the actual spandex. Anyways, it's Power Rangers Zeo. I remember watching Power Rangers Zeo on the Fox Kids block back in the 90s, uh, alongside shows like Bobby's World and X-Men the Animated Series. I'm pretty sure Iron Man the Animated Series was on there too, you know. I am Iron Man. You know that one? Yeah. Um, man, shout outs to Fox Kids. They put out some stellar mid-90s TV for us kids. And of course, with the Power Rangers being successful, naturally there was a bunch of Power Rangers video games back in the day, but surprisingly there was only like three for Power Rangers Zeo, which was weird, because Power Rangers Zeo was like one of the best seasons. I, I don't know, make it make sense, Saban. There was Power Rangers Zeo Full Tilt Pinball for the PS1, you know, it's a Power Rangers pinball game, there was this really weird beat-em-up that I think I played as a kid, but I don't really remember because it was on the PC and it was like one of those weird, like, I don't think it was like a DOS game. I think it was like like a CD-ROM or like a floppy disk or something. It, it was it was really weird and kind of felt uncanny valley. I, 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 I It's probably on the Internet Archive somewhere. And lastly, but not leastly, the game that we are playing on Save Point Redux, the game that you're all here for, Power Rangers Zeo Battle Racers. It's basically Super Mario Kart, but with Power Rangers Zeo. Um, that, well, actually, no, that's not really a fair comparison. There, there's a few key differences between the two games, and uh, I think I talk about it a little bit um, in the Let's Play, so let's just go ahead and roll right into it. Game number four of Save Point Redux, Power Rangers Zeo Battle Racers. It's more for time! <laughs> But I don't really have a Xeonizer because, you know, those things are actually kind of expensive. Although I think there was like a Legacy Collection one that's not too expensive. I don't know. I really need one of those things. I always wanted one as a kid. Never got one. Anyways, uh, I'm rambling. Let's go. Here we go. Power Rangers Zeo Battle Racers. Hey! So, there are five different Power Rangers that you can play as, or you can also play as, uh, I believe, King Mondo and a Cog Soldier, yes. So there's seven different racers. Come on, You bro. got the Yellow Ranger, um, Tanya, or Tasha. Yeah, that's right. It, it is Tanya. It um, is Tanya. Green Ranger, Jenny Young Bush, the greatest voice actor of all time, also known as Adam Park, which is the character. Uh, you got Cat, uh, the Pink Ranger, you got Billy, the, or not, not Billy, I'm sorry, that's the original series. Um, Rocky, the Blue Ranger, formerly the Red Ranger. You got the original Red Ranger, now the Gold Ranger, um, Austin St. John. And then, of course, you got, may he rest in peace, Jason David Frank, the greatest Power Ranger that ever lived, Zia Ranger Red. Um, I, you know, the, the acceleration on her is so good, but she doesn't have any grip or speed. Um, same with the Blue Ranger, because they have the really fast bikes. Um, red is the most evened out. Gold has a little bit higher speed, but the best one, surprisingly enough, is the Green Ranger. Or at least that's what I keep hearing. Um, and it's not just because he's played by the greatest voice actor of all time, 
But, uh... Hi, Laser Man. Oh, oh wow! Him, this but... is the exact same lineup that we dealt with the last time, so... Oh! Alright, uh... <laughs> literally the same exact one. It, it, it's randomly generated which people you're going to be playing against, but that's just... Crazy how it fell into our favor. Except this time we're going to be playing as the Green Ranger and not the Red Ranger, so... Alright, City Circuit 1. So, the way that this game works, uh, as you can see, it's very much Mario Kart inspired. But, uh, you have the same kind of uh, controls as Mario Kart. You got jumping, and then you got uh, your item, which is your blaster. Uh, you only have a limited amount of them, and you can't pick them up on the track. But, oh my god. How did we get leveled by a motorbike? I will not understand when we're driving, you know, an actual, like, F1 car. <laughs> Beyond me, but, um... Yeah, there's also jump dashing, and there's also brake dashing as well. Um, which... Brake dashing is a little bit more fundamental than jump dashing, because... Brake dashing helps you um, navigate corners a little bit tighter than jump dashing. Um... But yeah, the blaster, you only get five of them per, uh, per race. And there's five tracks, is what they call them. Um, there's only two races in the first track, but there's... A, what the... Hang on. Stand by. Uh, we have another visitor. Ma'am, just what do you think you're doing in here? How did you get in here? South Island is where we're going headed next. Going headed next, whatever, words. Oh, wait, we Could go! This also be where you would find South City, nine miles off which we see some androids? <laughs> um, you know, I know that the Power Rangers did a collaboration with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles back in the day. Oh, yeah. But Power Rangers and Dragon Ball Z? I don't know. Uh, I feel like that would be a very... <sighs> is there a demand for that? I'm pretty sure there is, but... I, I just feel like I just feel like the Dragon Ball Z characters would be, like, completely overpowering the Power Rangers. Like, Goku, yeah, could, Goku could no. literally level a Megazord by himself. No, Rory, that's why they don't interact with the Saiyans. They interact with the Ginyu Force. <laughs> there we go! Oh my god, yes. Power Rangers versus Ginyu Force? Book it. Survivor Series Mugen. <laughs> if you're watching, I just gave you a great idea. Power Rangers versus Ginyu Force 5-on-5 five five Survivor Series style. For those who don't know, that was a uh, that was a little um, plug for Astro Blaziken's Mugen channel. Um, guy has a very long-standing Mugen channel. He's been running them for like nine, ten years or so. Um, <laughs> yeah. Power Force or Ginyu Rangers? Uh, why not both? But, um, yeah, he, he, he does a lot of, uh, he basically runs a Mugen Wrestling Federation, so to speak, with like titles and everything. It's great. Anyways, first track down. Congratulations.